Hey guys, we are live. This is Adam Ashba, instructor at Hondros College and broker of Ashmont Realty. And today we're going to talk about uh, some realtor tips. So this week's realtors tips, and we're going to do it live. So if anyone wants to join the chat while we do this, let me know. But this week uh, we did a headshot party, and I'm going to show you some pictures of that here in a second. But if you've ever seen uh, some social media, because we're going to teach you how to trick out your social media a little bit, because I think social media and, uh, I mean, just getting yourself out there, making yourself look super uh, professional is going to give you the edge on your competition. But if you ever thought, like, how do I get something that looks like this? This looks expensive. Maybe I need to pay a graphic designer to do that. That is not true. And I'm going to show you how to do that within five minutes right after this. All right, realtors, quick realtor tip. We're going to talk about how to trick out your social media. All right, I'm a huge proponent of social media. It's free. There's no reason why you can't go on and talk to customers and clients and potential uh, and or just meet new friends or whatever. I mean, social media is a tool. A lot of people don't like it for the simple fact you can do a lot of bad things on social media. But again, it's it's a tool. You can use it for harm or evil. So on this week's Realtors Tip, uh, I want to share with you guys um, some quick tips on how to like really make and it's going to be around your your headshot. So and the reason why we're talking about headshots uh, this week is we had what's called a headshot party for our agents at Ashmont uh, this past uh, on Monday. And uh, so as you can see, like um, we had a great time. I mean, I mean, aren't those? I mean, my agents are good looking people, aren't they? So, and there's Rora with their little dog and there's, and there's John and things like that. So we got a good looking crew, right? So, but what the purpose of it was, is, you know, getting professional photography done is, uh, is kind of expensive, right? And uh, so what we did, we had a headshot party. We paid to have a photographer and had drinks and food and we hung out, got our photography done. Now, the nice thing is, okay, you got your a nice headshot. Now, what do I do with it? Well, the the purpose of it is to like up your A game on social, right? No excuses. Literally, you have your new headshot and, you know, you can start doing and putting things on marketing. So I'm going to show you a, a quick tip that I learned. Um, and we use this program all the time for our social media for our company, uh, shout out to Nikita Wilson who does our marketing. So, but it, it is on is canva.com. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Now we are live. So if you do have any questions, uh, post in the comment below and I'm happy to answer them for you, but you know, it's time agents that you need to a raise your a game on social media. You don't need to pay anyone to do this. It's totally free. Okay. That's the kicker. So the, this is a free website, and it's called Canva.com. I'm going to go ahead and share share my screen here with everybody. Okay, everyone see that? Again, it's Canva.com, and this is a free website. Again, Canva.com. And so what we're going to do is, you know, like that, that previous post I showed you guys, and, uh, you know, and, and it had like John Smith realtor and he was like cropped out. And then the backdrop of it was like some cool houses. So let's do something like that. Right. OK, so go ahead and create a use a, a login with Canva. Now, once you're in Canva, it's going to look like this. So they're going to say, well, what do you want to do? There are a million of template designs here, guys, millions uh, and it's, it's just a wonderful tool. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to focus on Facebook because that's what we're live on today. So if you go to Facebook, uh, so go to like Facebook, Facebook posts, excuse me, here it is right there. And the reason why you're going to do this is it's going to 
create the template so it fits perfectly in Canva. And that's the nice thing about it. It, it. It's just, it's dummy proof, guys. Absolutely dummy proof. You don't have to like figure out how to like crop the image so it fits perfectly. Uh, Canva does that all, all for you. All right. Now, so once you type in Facebook posts, so Canva knows that, that this at this point in time that, okay, we're going to create a, a dimension for a uh, template for Facebook. And then now it's all about what type of content you want. So the first thing we're going to do is let's, let's go in and, um, and like, look, I don't know, like let's cl click some sort of, there's many templates, but let's just start from blank. We'll just start with a, a basic white template. Okay. So here you go. Totally blank canvas, absolutely white, um, you know, nothing special about it. So what we're going to do first is go up here to elements. And I want you to type in like house. All right. Now within Canva, they have millions of free images that are royalty free that you can use. And you're not going to get in trouble by the, the Getty image police you know, and make you take it down in the future. So, so uh, look, look here, there's a lot of cartoonish things, but again, you know, we want to make this look kind of legit, right? So, uh, and again, this is, we're going to try to make this a quick tip guys. So let, let's, let's choose this photo here. This is a nice twilight picture of a, uh, of a house. Okay. So, and again, you know, if you want to use maybe a, your own listing, like maybe you have a listing coming up, OK, you, you can do this as well, but th for the sake of time. So let's just use that that graph. OK, now we talk about headshots. You got your headshot. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uploads because now you got to get your headshot into Canva. So what you do really quick, go to uploads off to the left, click uploads, and then you're going to upload media. Now, I use Canva all the time, so my image is, I mean, all over. So let me get one. Let's see. Let's get one that has me. Oh, here. okay, here's, here's one I use all the time. So, okay. So as you can see, like, you know, I'm being, my picture's being taken on like a white gray background. That doesn't look right, okay? Um, you know, so remember the, the, the gentleman and let me, let me go back and I'll share that screen, but the, uh, the one that we're going to try to emulate is the one at the beginning. So we're going to, let me share that screen again, this one. Okay. You know, so like right now my image is just a headshot. I'm on a white or a black screen. So as you can see, this gentleman, he's like cropped out perfectly and then he's going to be back set on those houses. And that's what we're going to try to do. So let's go back and, and share can't my canvas screen again. All right. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. I hope everyone can see that. Okay. And again, for all those people that are live, if you have any questions on this, um, you know, let me, let me know. We'll, uh, I'm happy to slow down or, or answer any questions. So, um, so, all right, there we go back on the Facebook post. So here we go. So here's the secret sauce right here, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your, your picture, your actual headshot picture. You're going to go over here to edit image. All right. Up here on search effects, you're gonna you're gonna type in background remover or BG remover. Now I use this a lot, this a lot. So it came up in my recently used. So it's right here. It's called BG for background remover. And you could do this for anything, headshots, or if you had something you just want to like crop it out or what have you, but it's, it is literally, you click a button, we're going to click it. And then it's thinking your computer's thinking and what it's doing, it's going to remove that background. 
Now, the nice thing is if you did a headshot and you have like a white background or a black background, it's going to be easier for the computer to cut you out of that solid background. Now, if you I've noticed if like you're standing in a house and there's a lot going on behind you, then the, you, you might get a little uh, distortion maybe on your shoulder or maybe over by your hand. But you know, in this case, since you have a, a more solid background, so like uh, the headshots that we did uh, on Monday, you know, we had more of a black background. So it's going to be really easy for our agents that did the headshot party to uh, to crop theirs out. So check this out. Look how nice this looks. So you know, so we're gonna let's just play around with it. So here's me. Look, I, I'm literally I have no background. I'm kind of floating in the same space as the house and uh you know look how much look how much more professional that looks and how long did that take us a minute i don't know pretty quick i mean i had to explain it uh, line by line but that's how easy it is guys and uh now the nice thing about it there's text there's text buttons that you can you know if you wanted to type in your information um uh, I mean, you just click it. Maybe we're having a pool party or something at this house. I, I don't know. But I mean, it, there's just so many great things that you can you can do um, or create invites or something like that. But look how legit that looks. And literally, it took just a few minutes to do. So I hope this helps everyone raise their A game and social media because that's important. Uh, in, in this industry, you know, I always call it, we're in the uh, Kardashian era. If you look legit, even though you might not have any skill set yet, especially if you're a new agent, but if you look professional, you're posting regularly, then uh, you're going to, you're going to have, uh, you know, a lot of people trusting you because you just, you just look like, you know what you're talking about. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this week's Realtors Tip on how to trick out your social media with your headshots. Um, if you have any questions or comment, post them below. If you're thinking about getting into real estate, let me know. I can talk to you a little bit more about how much that's going to cost, as in your schooling and how long it takes if you want to get into it full-time or part-time. So thanks again, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube, and I'll see you all next time.